हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन साउंड प्रेशर लेवल्स एंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ साउंड नाउ व्हाट इज नॉइस पोल्यूशन नॉइस कैन बी डिफाइंड एज दैट अनवांटेड साउंड पोल्यूटेंट व्हिच प्रोड्यूसेस अनडिजायरेबल फिजियोलॉजिकल एंड साइकोलॉजिकल इफेक्ट्स इन एन इंडिविजुअल by interfering with one's social activities like work rest sleep etc now noise can be defined as that unwanted sound pollutant which will interfere with one's social activities like work rest sleep etc now noise of sufficient intensity and duration can induce health problem like temporary and sometimes permanent hearing loss besides causing several other diseases like irritation headache mental torture high blood pressure etc okay now the characteristic of sound now we had prepared a curve here in which the y axis will be of sound pressure and x axis will be of time now we know that the sound wave is generally same as that of sinusoidal wave so we had prepared a curve like this okay having maximum value at pi by 2 and zero value at pi similarly zero value at 2 pi and maximum value at 3 pi by 2 now we need to calculate here the time period time period or time period is defined as the time between two successive peaks or trough of oscillation okay now time period can be defined as the time between two successive peaks or trough that is indicated here by capital t now time period can also be defined as that time after which the curve will repeat itself is known as time period here the time period is 2 pi because the sine wave will uh, repeat itself after a time period of 2 pi okay now what is frequency the number of times peak arrive in 1 second is called the frequency it means that the number of waves passing in 1 second is known as frequency so it can be calculated by t equals to 1 by f where t is the time period and f is the frequency okay now the wavelength is the next parameter which uh, parameter which we need to discuss okay now we had prepared a curve again and on x axis in place of time we had taken the distance and on y axis we had taken the sound pressure now for the wavelength the distance between the successive peaks or trough is called the wavelength it means that its distance between the two successive peaks or trough is known as wavelength okay now wavelength can be determined by c by f where c is the velocity of sound wave now we need to find the amplitude the amplitude of the wave is the height of the peak sound measure above or below zero pressure line it will be indicated like this that is the amplitude capital a and that will also be an amplitude amplitude that is capital a okay now the equivalent pressure of such a sine wave is represented by root mean square value that is p rms value so it can be determined by under root of 1 by time period integration 0 to t pt square into dt where pt is the pressure at any time t now by using this equation we will determine the p rms value okay now we need to find the level of noise now for the calculation of level of noise the formula will be taken as log 10 q by q not in bells but if we want to calculate the answer in decibel then we have to use the formula that is 10 log 10 q by q not where q is the measure quantity of sound pressure or sound intensity and q not is the reference standard quantity of sound pressure now this value is very important because gate had asked question from this particular portion that is the reference standard quantity of sound pressure now the reference standard quantity in the above equation is taken to be equals to 20 micro pascal when sound pressure is measured so the value of q not will be equals to 20 micro pascal now one note is there that the audible frequency of normal human ear is 20 hertz to 20000 hertz we all know that okay now the next concept is the averaging sound pressure level now we had to average the all the sound pressure level in a particular area the average value of the various recorded sound pressure levels that is lp at a particular place over a given period cannot be computed by simple averaging why we cannot 
you calculate the average sound pressure level by simple averaging because log scale is involved in their values that's why we don't calculate it by simple averaging due to log scale involved in their values on the other hand the following equation is used to compute average pressure level now the formula will be equals to l dash p equals to 20 log 1 by capital n summation small n equals to 1 to small n equals to capital n 10 to the power ln upon 20 where l dash p is the average sound pressure level in decibel n is the number of measurement reading and ln is the nth sound pressure level in decibel now by this formula we can determine the average sound pressure level okay now we we need to discuss the another important concept that is the l equivalent concept now l equivalent is defined as the constant noise level which over a given time expands the same amount of energy as is expanded by the fluctuating level over the same time now this is very important that the l equivalent is that constant noise level which over a given time expands the same amount of energy that is expanded by the fluctuating levels of sound pressure level over the same time now this value is expressed as l equivalent equals to 10 log 10 summation i equals to 1 to small n 10 to the power li upon 10 into ti where n is the total number of sound samples and li is the noise level of any ith sample and ti is the time duration of ith sample expressed as fraction of total sample time so we had discussed all the fundamental definitions as well as all the sound pressure level and the characteristic sound concept and as well as the l equivalent concept that is all about the noise pollution thank you very much students